okay uh, i hope there is no doubt in our previous uh, lecture so the last example that we had seen was uh, design finite automata to accept the string if it contains even number of A's and odd number of B's or odd number of A's and even number of B's. It was something like that, right? Uh, and one thing uh, you have to remember is that the question is may change. Like the same question may be asked for even number of A's and even number of B's. Only thing you have to remember is that uh, the final state will change according to the question, okay? Uh, if uh, the previous examples are clear, we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, your next example is design finite auto automata to accept the string if it has even number of B's on input A and B. So it is even number of A, sorry, even number of B, right? It is even number of B. So can you tell me what may be the states? What is the input? What is the, what are the states? What is the input? The question is design finite automata to accept the string which contains even number of B's. It is even number of B's. What is the input? What is the input? Saurav says it's B. Input is B. Students read the question properly. What is the input? It is See here, they have given in the question input A comma B. Okay, in the previous example, we saw that we required uh, to see both. What is uh, number of A's and number of B's, right? In the previous example, we saw what are number of A's and number of B's. Here, we are concentrating only on number of B's. <coughs> I hope you people are getting me, okay? We are concentrating only on number of B's. Whatever is A, that is, maybe I have uh, 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 what is even number of A's or even number of uh, odd number of A's. I'm not concentrating on that because the question is only we want even number of B's. Right? It, uh, yes, um, moment, it may be two B's, it may be four B's, it may be eight B's, right? any number of these but i want even number of these okay it need not be only b right it need not be only b it the example may be b a b also right the um string may be a a b b the string may be b b a B, A, B, something like that. It is just that I want even number of Bs in the string. Okay. The finite automata should accept only even number of Bs. Okay. So summation that is our input is A and B. Okay. So coming to our states. What are our state? What are the possible states? Even B or odd b 
Yash says even B or odd B. Yes, very good. Because we are not concentrating on number of A's, we are only concentrating on B's. So obviously, since it is a string, we don't forget to add the start state. I'll take Q0 as even B's. Okay, please do write it completely. Even B's. And Q1, I'll take as odd. Odd B's. QS is our start state, okay? Okay, coming to our table now. Uh, sorry, uh, before that we have to write uh, the start state. What is our start state? Which is our start state? Which is our start state, students? Q, S, yes. It is Q, S. Bhushan, Ruchita, Shraddha, right. Q, S. And which is which will be our final state? Which will be our final state? It is Q0. Why Q0? Because the question asked is we want even number of Bs and even number of Bs is represented in Q0. So Q0 is our final state. Okay, I hope you are getting this. Fine. Then inputs are A and B. State QS. Q0 and Q1. Okay, start state. As we have already discussed in our previous example, uh, zero number of A's and zero number of B's are considered as even numbers, right? Okay, so uh, I have even number of B's in the start state because it is zero number of A and zero number of B. We have even number of B's. And I read a A, even number of B's, okay, zero, number of A's are zero, number of B's are zero in the start state, right? Okay, and I am reading, and I am reading one A. And zero, uh, number of B's have not affected, right? It is B itself. That is zero number of B's itself, right? So what? to which state it will go to now qs on a qs on a 0b 0b is even number of b right so we'll go to q0 okay now i'm in the start state that is zero number of a's and zero number of b's okay and now now i'm reading 1b so this is now one, right? This is one. So one matlab odd. So it will go to Q1. Yes, Rushikesh, right. Nikunj, right. Yes, Ruchita. Yes, Siddharth, very good. Okay, so QS on B goes to Q1. Okay, now tell me this. I have even number of uh, uh, Bs and I read a A even number of b and i read a a so yes very good shriha nikun shraddha yes yes so it goes to q zero snehal yes okay now tell me this q zero on b q zero on b yes janvi yes very good shraddha shriha, shriha yes very good. Now tell me this. You have odd number of Bs and you are reading A. You have odd number of Bs and you are reading A. So what is the answer here? What is the answer here? It is Q1. Right? And Q1. You have odd number of Bs and you are reading a B. It is Q0. 
students any doubt in this <coughs> any doubt in this example okay uh, students one more thing again i am repeating this you have to follow all the steps but what i'll be solving from now is only this okay i'll give you what are the states uh, what is the start state final state and i'll give you the state table okay but you have to follow all the steps that is first uh, step one you have to write what you are designing step two you have to write the formal definition and explain the tuple okay step three state table step four transition diagram for this state table okay and step five example to show that whatever you have designed is right one example to show that uh, the string is accepted that is the you take this string which is acceptable and uh, take another string which is rejected okay that is not accepted for example you have to this example loge, it should be accepted because it has even number of b's okay and take another example which has odd number of b's and you have to show that it is rejected okay uh, i did not mark the final state here right i have to mark start state and final state okay mark start state and final state in the state table mark start state and final state in the transition diagram also okay i hope you got this example okay so this is our state table then this is your transition diagram and exam okay next okay just see this we'll uh, move on to next example before going to this example i want to take another example okay take down another next example design finite automata to accept the string which ends with which ends with 101 okay i'll take that example and come to this example okay students okay my next example is design finite automata to accept the string which ends with which ends with 101 okay i don't know why i did not add i forgot to add it okay which ends with 101 I repeat the question it is finite automata to accept the string that ends with one zero one okay so this is our next example so what is our input what is our input it is 0 comma 1 or 1 comma 0 yes right okay input is 0 comma 1 or 1 comma 0 right now what is ex um, what is uh, expected in this question there is there are examples okay the string whatever we give okay it may be 1 1 0 it may be 0 1 0 1 it may be 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 it may be zero it may start with zero one zero zero one zero one okay the string may be any combination of zeros and one i repeat the string may be any combination of zero and one but it should end with one zero one it should end with one zero one 
Okay, so here this is not accepted because it is not ending with one zero one. So how exactly our machine works? It just take this, it reads this, it takes this, reads this, it takes this and reads this and moves to right, है ना? So if you see, it remembers. Only the state in which it is. Okay, it reads the input and it remembers the state only in which it is. So what we have to do is, whenever I read a zero, I'll just neglect it because I want one zero one. Okay, so whenever I read one, whenever I read one. I got this one, right? I got this one. So what I'll do, whenever I read one, I I'll change the state. Okay, whenever I read one, I'll change the state, hoping that the next input is zero. Okay, if this I got zero, if I get a zero, then I got one and I came to this state, right? If I get a zero, I change the state and read the input, hoping that next input is one. Okay, and now this will be my final state if I get this one after this one zero. Means if I go to this state after reading this state and this state, then I'll say that yes, I am. In, ah, uh, I have read the substring which I require. Okay, so this is the concept actually. So how to do that? We'll see. Okay, so whenever you have such examples, whenever you have such examples that you have to search for a given string. Okay, whenever you have such example that you have to search for a given string, what you have to do is, what you have to do is, you have to take two states, Q0 and Q1, Q0 and Q1, okay, this Q0 reads 0, Q0 reads 0 and Q1 reads 1. Okay. Jo bhi ye jo input hai na, basic input, we have to take that to define the states. We are now defining the states. Okay. Whenever you have such string that you have to, you have such a problem statement that you are searching for some substring, then the first two things is you have to take 0 and 1. Okay. You have to take the inputs, whatever inputs you have. You have If you have A and B, you have to take A and B. Here we have 0 and 1. So we are taking 0 and 1. Okay. So next, what is the next step? What will be my next uh, state? The next state will be, now we'll start with our string. Okay. Our string is 1. 0, 1. Start reading from left to right. Start reading from left to right. Okay. Q2 will be my first element. Okay. 1. Since I have already taken 1 here, since I have already taken 1 here, I'll just ignore that. Okay. So, read next. It is 1, 0. Okay. Q2 is this 0 after this one so what i will say here is it reads one zero it reads one zero that is the machine comes to q2 when it reads zero after one the meaning of that is after one it is reading zero so what i'll write here what i'll write here is reads one zero Okay, the state, uh, sorry, uh, the machine comes to Q2 when, it's re when it reads 0 after 1. You have to 
remember this. Okay, so what will be my Q3? Next, read the next element. That is this one. Okay, so as I said here, okay, as I shown uh, here, okay, it will come to this one now. So after reading one, zero, it comes to one. So what I'll write here reads one, zero, one. This is how you have to construct your, uh, uh, what is that? Q. That is states. Whenever, whenever you have uh, the problem statement as you are searching for some string, you are searching for some substring, this is how you will be constructing the states. Is this clear, students? First thing you have to read is the base the input elements it may be a b or it may be zero one so since here it is zero one what we are reading we are reading first zero and one okay after that what you have to do you have to start reading the uh, given substring whatever um, uh, substring has been mentioned you have to take that okay then start reading it from one element uh, at a time from left to right so one it's already written, so I haven't again repeated it. Okay, after that, one zero and then one zero one. So one, one zero, one zero one. Is the uh, construction of states uh, clear, students? Any doubt? Everyone, is this clear? Okay, so now. We'll uh, move on to the state table. With this states. Okay, now coming to what is, what will be my final state? What will be my final state? Q3, because the string whatever we require is in Q3. We require 101 and our 101 is in Q3. So Q3 will be my final state. Okay. I did not write Q0 here, QS here. Students, please do add it. Okay. Start state. You have start state. Okay. Whenever you have a string, you should have a start state. Remember that. Okay. So input is 01. QS. Q0, Q1, Q2, and a Q3. Okay. Now, QS means null string, and I'm reading a 0. Null string and a 0. What should I write? What I'm reading? Null string, there is nothing. And I'm reading a zero. What should I write here? Q zero. Everyone agree? Is there any doubt, students? Everyone agree with this? Yes. So it is Q zero. If you have any doubt, let me know. Okay. Please. You can stop me anytime and I'll repeat it. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, can you explain why it is Q zero? Yeah. See. Uh, so what? The string, maybe it is something like that, like this, okay? And you are starting it. There is nothing. And you are reading a zero. Reading a zero, where it is, it is in this state, Q0. Reads zero. Okay, there is nothing and you are reading a zero. Okay, and read zero is in Q0. So, we are going to Q0, QS and a 0. Null string, I have nothing at the start and I'm reading a 0. Okay, and read 0 is in Q0. So, we are going to Q0. Hope this is clear. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Next is QS on 1. I have nothing and I'm reading a 1. It is Q1. Yes, very good. So, it is Q1. 
I have nothing. That is start state, null string, right? I have nothing and I'm reading a one. Read one. Read one is in Q1, right? So it is Q1, okay? Now, now here I have a zero, right? When we re, uh, are in Q0, when I already read a zero and there is another zero. Sorry. <clears throat> here I have a zero, right? When I am in Q0, when I am in Q0, when I am reading a zero from my previous input. And now again I am reading a zero. Zero, zero. Do, have we defined zero, zero in our uh, 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 states? We haven't defined, right? So what I have to do? I have to take out the leftmost zero, one single zero. Then I'll check whether I have a zero. Yes, I have a zero, reads zero. It is Q0, so go to Q0. Okay, now, next what I'm reading here, I, what I'm reading here, students, what I'm reading here, I'm reading, what I'm reading here, it is 0, 1, right? Right? After 0, I'm reading 1. After 0, I'm reading 1. What is the meaning of Q, uh, Q0 on 1? After 0, I am reading 1. Okay. After 0, I am reading 1, matlab 0, 1. Have I defined 0, 1 here? No, we haven't defined 0, 1. Right. So, what I have to do? I have to cut this, the leftmost single bit. Okay. Then I have 1. Okay. Read 1. Do I have that? Yes, I have that in Q1. So write here Q1. I hope you are getting. Okay. Now, Q1. What is Q1? It is 1. Right? When I come to Q1, matlab I have read 1 previously. I have read 1 previously. What I am reading here? What I am reading here? I am reading one zero right i hope you are getting yes 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 everyone is right most of you yes very good i am reading here one after one i am reading zero matlab one zero i am reading one zero do i, ha I have defined one zero yes we have defined one zero in q2 so what we'll write here we'll write q2 okay now, what we are reading here, we are reading one, one, right? After one, we are reading another one. And we are not interested in one, one. So, we haven't defined one, one, right? We haven't defined one, one. Okay, remove this. Remove the leftmost. What is remaining? We It is remaining with one. Okay, and one, we have Q1. So, go to Q1. Okay, next, when we are in Q2, when we are in Q2, when we have one, one zero, right? So, one zero zero, right, right, Ayan. So, it, what we are reading here, we are reading one zero zero. Students, you should be careful when you have more than uh, one uh, bit, okay? 100, zero, zero, we don't have 100. Zero, zero. What I have to do now, students listen carefully. I have to cut only one at the leftmost side. I have to cut only one at the leftmost side, okay? And now check, do I have 00, zero in the string uh, defined? No, I don't have. Again, cut one more. Okay, this is very much required. This is very much required when the string length increases. Okay, so you have to cut one at a time. Okay, so now zero. Zero is in Q0, so we'll write here Q0. Okay, so what we are reading here, what we are reading here, students, what we are reading here, we are reading 1, 0, 1. Right? We are reading 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. 
So we don't have uh, 101. Yes, we have 101. So it goes to Q3 directly. Yes, very good students. Okay, when we are in Q3, when we are reading 101. Students, why this is required? Just uh, give me a second, I'll explain. Okay, see, this is my input string. Okay, this is my input string. I'll take one here. This is my input string. So, I reached yaha tak, right? I reached here. What is the question, if you remember, what is the question? Ends with 101, right? But I got it 101 here. It may happen that it is not ending with 101. I shouldn't stop here, right? I have to go till the end. Uh, till um, the string has finished. That is till I read a blank. I have to move till then and then check whether the string is accepted. That is, it is ending with 101. Right? So what I have to do? I have to read even the, all the elements. Right? I have to read all the elements. So I cannot stop here itself. I have to move forward till I read a blank, till the string, string ends, okay? So now what we are reading here? Yes, Nikunj, we are reading 1010, right? We are reading 1010. Now see students, pay attention now. See 1010, cut one, we don't have 1010, right? So we, what we do? We just take out the leftmost. Do we have 010? Do we have 0, 1, 0? No, we don't have. So cut another. Do we have 1, 0? Yes, we have 1, 0. Yes. So it is Q2. Okay. So if you observe, we are not just going to the last one, whichever we have. Okay. We have to check each and everything. Okay. So next, 1, 0, 1, 1. We are reading 1, 0, 1, 1. Right. Since we don't have 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, we cut 1, we don't have 0, 1, 1, we cut 0, we don't have 1, 1, so it is just 1, so go to Q1. Okay, and which is our final state? I haven't marked. Q3 is my final state. Is this uh, clear, student? Is this problem clear? Is this example clear any doubt students any one of you let me know